I've lost several clients, some of them really good friends, to the production process. It's hard after really giving them your all, your very best efforts, a good studio rate, helpful emails and phone calls, only to be ghosted and not told what they think you did wrong to upset them so much that they're willing to take the nuclear option and terminate the relationship, often without a call or even a quick note or text. I've really developed thick skin over the years. It's to the point that if someone doesn't want to talk openly and honestly with me, I don't really put out the one-sided effort to keep the relationship intact. Two tears in a bucket. Motherfuck it. Life is too short to carry a grudge, and yet it seems many, if not most people, do it all their lives. Rather than moving through a difficult situation and moving forward, they want to make you eternally wrong for slighting them and punish you with non-communication. Sometimes the hardest part is not even really knowing what you did to offend them so badly in the first place. Did they get negative feedback on a mix you did? Gossip about you with friends? Think you were flirting with their partner? Feel that you were overcharging them for something? Or maybe expressed an idea or opinion about their project that they didn't agree with? You might think it's one thing when it's really something completely different. Something that perhaps you hadn't even considered. You'll never know because they didn't have the balls to just come out and tell you. They intend to keep you in the dark and guessing, which is a pretty cowardly thing to do really. So after a few attempts to have a conversation with them and clear the air, if I don't detect any interest from them to continue working together, I just let it go. Let them ride off into the sunset of their own misgivings and resentment. If they value the relationship at all, then they'll give you a call. Perhaps only after realizing that you were only trying to serve them and be a trusted friend and confidant. My best clients and friends are the ones that appreciate me just as I am, full of quirks and crazy ideas, unconventional approaches, and sometimes grandiose schemes, experienced know-how, and down-to-earth approaches. I'm not that normal guy at the office that never takes any risks or tries anything off the beaten path. That's just not what I have to offer. It's not why people hire me to produce the projects. If they want that, I refer them to Fiverr or some online production service. So don't take it personally when you get ghosted by someone you thought liked your work and personality. Don't lose sleep trying to figure out what you did wrong. You really can't know for sure unless you really did make a mistake or said something the wrong way. If so, just cowboy up and apologize. But if you don't know and they won't tell you, then just let it go and move on to the next client the one that's eager to work with you and gladly pays you for your time. So please keep this in mind when taking on new clients, especially if they're an old friend or family member. Would it be better not to involve yourself and gently opt out while the going's good? Will you really be okay if the relationship goes sideways as a result of working for them on a project? I like to think of the recording studio business as a thick jungle full of dangerous and emotionally deadly beasts. You need to cut through with a big machete clearing the path towards your personal goals and objectives. Keep your chin up and your blade sharp, and don't get bit by a big snake.